Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to quickly and easily use Lottie files on your Oxygen sites. This is really pretty straightforward, but I wanted to post a quick video to kind of show you the process, plus one trick you do need to use to get these files to show up in the Builder Preview. So to start, we have to go to LottieFiles.com and you are going to need to have an account here and go ahead and sign in. Once you've done that, you can go to Discover and pick out an animation. Once you've found an animation you want to use, you can simply click it and grab its Lottie animation URL here. So we'll use this little pumpkin and the cat. Now we can go to Code and Web Player. And this is going to give us a place where we can configure our web player, including the animation we want to use. So we'll go ahead and paste in that URL we just grabbed. And now we have play mode, direction, forward or backward, background color. We'll leave it on transparent, width, height, and animation speed. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. And then we're going to hide the controls by unchecking that. We can also set it to animate on hover. We can set it to autoplay and set it to loop. So we'll just leave it like it is for the most part besides removing those controls. Now we just copy this code and we're gonna jump over into Oxygen and I'm gonna add a code block. And once my code block is there, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to the top of this div. And then in the PHP and HTML editor, we just paste that code in and click apply. Now it's not going to show in the builder preview with this method, but let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like on the front end. And as you can see here, our Lottie animation is playing exactly as we had hoped. But there is a trick we can use to make this show up in the builder preview if that's something you need. So if you don't need that, you can stop watching here, go generate the player code, paste it in and you're good to go. But if you want to be able to see this animation in your design preview in Oxygen, then I'll show you exactly what you need to do. First, we're going to need this script URL. So we're going to grab this and it's just the bit between quotes in the SRC attribute. Let me switch the theme here so that you can see a little bit easier what I'm grabbing. So we'll copy this and then we're going to go over to our JavaScript tab. The reason the animation doesn't play in the Builder Preview is because Oxygen does not load external scripts that are included via script tags in the PHP and HTML editor. This is to prevent a bunch of weird conflicts that can occur when those scripts are loaded. But in cases where you know you need it and you're pretty sure it won't cause any problems, you can use this method to get it to load in the Builder. So first we'll add an if window.angular. This is going to make sure this code only runs in the builder environment and not on the front end. Now we're going to say let Lottie script equal document dot create element script. So this just creates a plain script element. And now we can add attributes and things to it. So the first thing we need to do is say Lottie script dot set attribute and the attribute name is going to be SRC. And the value is going to be that URL that we just grabbed from our script tag in the PHP and HTML editor. So you can kind of see what we're doing here. We're reconstructing this script element, but we're creating it with JavaScript. And then we're going to append it to the document head. So we say document.head.append child. And then we pass in that Lottie script variable. So what this will do is we'll cause the script to actually be loaded in the builder preview. So let's go ahead and apply the code and you might get some error pop-ups like this. Generally, these can be ignored when you're using this method to attach scripts because we're kind of gaming the system. It shouldn't cause any issues in actually building the site. So now we can go ahead and change this and say pumpkin cat. We can save the changes and we can go up to the front end and see our beautiful animation. But also in the builder, if we happen to be building something that's dependent on the way this animation looks, we can also see it there. And we can duplicate the element, move it around, use it wherever we'd like, and we'll have a better idea of how things are going to look on the front end. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to quickly and easily use Lottie animations on your Oxygen sites. Thank you very much for watching.